Hi, this is Kihui Cable for Location Equipment. Here you are seeing that the third generator is connected to the fall locator and uh, testing is going on 132 kV cable which is 1 kilometer or 1.1 kilometer 100 meters long and you can see on the dashboard that you have a key which makes the equipment switch off and switch on okay when you switch on you can see that the green indication the equipment is ready if there is improper grounding then this red indication grounding alarm will pop up and makes makes helps the uh, end user to see see that uh, the grounding is not proper so once this light is off led is off we, and this green led comes up which means the equipment is ready for testing and then uh, there is a test voltage increase regulator so you can this helps you to increase the voltage slowly based on your uh, voltage testing uh, level this is an emergency switch off button when you uh, if there is any emergency if you just want to switch off on emergency basis just press this button whole of the voltage gets cut off so it becomes a, it's a, a zero voltage you have a timer here you can set the timer for, for giving the uh, like a cyclic pulse uh, based on the time you can see there is a different time level 0 2 seconds 4 seconds 6 8 10 and 12 seconds this is a switch it's a mode switch so you can set either a pulse mode or a cyclic mode setting the time or you can do a dc voltage test that is like a, we call it as a dk test or a high pod test in this particular mode you have a, a test method whether you can use a sim method secondary impulse method or we call it as a multiple impulse method in other terms uh, we call can also say it as an arc reflection method and you can change you have a knob here you can change it to whatever voltage uh, sorry whatever test method you want to do whether arc secondary impulse method or an icm method current impulse method you have a voltage selective switch where you can select the voltage 8 kv 16 kv or 32 kv since it's a 132 kv line so we have selected a 32 kv voltage and there is this is a fault locator this is a fault locator so this fault locator connects from limo to limo cable so this connection goes from the fault locator to the search generator where we capture the reflections of the pulse so this is this is the search generator is powered through a power supply uh, AC 220, uh, 220 volt and this goes to the search generator so this is a handle which helps to you know keep the fault locator uh, intact uh, so that it, it is easy for doing a cable fault location so once this search generator is on we select the distance from the TDR select the mode what exactly you need to do so TDR if you just want to do the TDR you can just press TDR and then press test you will get a waveform like you can see we already done this tdr you can select the file view whichever file you want to see and you display it and you can see that there is a short circuit fault and line and you can see that there are uh, cable joints here then this is the end of the cable we have seen the end of the cable by keeping it all, uh, open and short you can see display this is the end of the cable you can put the cursor back you can see that the cable length is 1.66 meters okay and then you can also compare the graph uh, you can see there's a red and the green line so which helps you to exactly pinpoint uh, helps you to compare the two different graphs from the healthy cable and the faulty cable and then you select the range you select the range two kilometers and then select the mode if you want to do icm uh, method from the search generator you have to select ICM surge. ICM surge is only for a single pulse. If you are using for a single pulse, you use ICM surge. Or if you want to have a ICM DC, so the test method will be ICM, the mode will be DC, okay, and you select the ICM DC. Okay, and then you have uh, MIM method. So it is multiple impulse method or we call it as a sim method if you are using the search generator in sim method the tdr to be selected in the mim method 
okay and this is a dk method if you want to do a dc high pot test with our fault locator uh, uh, yes then you select dk and put this mode in dc this in sim mode dc and dk method so dk method is very simple just select dk method press this button test it, it will show you it is already armed so then it when it is armed slowly increase the voltage gradually until it's breakdown and you get an arc reflection and it will tell you the distance to the fault.